A Faulkner man who suffered a crippling disorder for 20 years has spoken about the miracle treatment which has enabled him to walk properly again. Gabriella Rosito spoke to Jeff Grech about his recovery and what it means to him. Jeff Grech is a walking example of what life-changing surgery can do, not only for him but his family. This is Jeff several months before, suffering from dystonia, a neurological movement disorder. It's been ruinous to his occupational life. He hasn't been able to work uh, uh, for many years because of this uh, uh, condition. He's uh, bent uh, almost at right angles at the waist with uh, uh, curvature of his spine and uh, neck. Jeff's condition developed from a workplace injury 20 years ago. Often he'd hold his head to control the spasms and disguise it from his children. Couldn't play cricket, couldn't run around with them, couldn't do anything like a normal father could, and that hurt every day. Never seen him walk in my entire life. But that's until Jeff decided to have surgery several months ago. Neurosurgeons implanted electrodes deep in his brain, which connect to a device similar to a pacemaker, sending electrical pulses to block the spasm activity. And it's really been only been in the last <clears throat> four or five years that it has become accepted around the world as the best way to treat um, dystonia when it gets to Jeff's stage. While there are inherent risks, such as stroke, the results two weeks later were remarkable. Honey, my husband's grown. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it was a small miracle um, for it to happen so quickly, yeah. He's a new man, you know, it's changed our lives. Despite its success, the operation is an expensive one. The device alone costs about $30,000 and many patients, including those with Parkinson's disease, are unable to afford the treatment. So I hope that um, it persuades... Um, all the authorities to give funding. I never knew what could happen. I was like wondering in my sleep that would my dad ever stay up straight? So excited. I just went up to him and hugged him and kissed him. Gabriella Rosito, National 9 News.